Hi everyone! This month's how-to is about pricing your artwork. It's not a task anyone likes to do as it's not nice having to put a final value on your creative work. But it's so important to get off on the right foot at the beginning of your art career, so I hope that some of these helpful hints will get you on your way. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe here on YouTube and also check out my Patreon channel for much more in-depth tutorials on pastel. Enjoy! So I'm going to jump straight in and show you a tried and tested method of getting a rough value for your artwork. And I thought I would use this piece, uh, it's called Dogged Determination. And I've just got this framed in Spain, so I'm going to figure out my price in euros for this piece. And I'll give you a quick idea of how I can do that using a simple method. So if I measure the piece, it's 26 by 15 inches which gives me 390 square inches. And say, for example, I give myself about four euros per square inch. That's a sort of average enough amount. Now, sometimes if I'm working on a much bigger piece, I might actually give myself a little less per square inch because I don't want the overall value of my big piece of work to go far out of my stratosphere. But again, if I'm working on a very small piece, I might actually give myself a little more per square inch if it's a very complicated small piece. So this is a rough idea. So 390 square inches at four euros per square inch, which gives me 1,560 euros. The frame for this cost me 150 euros. So that gives me a 1,700 euros gallery price. Now most galleries take about 40%. So if we say 40% from that, and then minus the cost of my frame and other uh, materials, I actually end up getting around 820 euros for this piece. Um, so my hourly rate from that, I think I spent in around 50 hours on this, and that gives me about 16 euros per hour. So that's a good way to work out for each piece consistently what your prices should be. So this is a great method if you're just starting out. To be honest, I don't actually figure out my prices this way. Uh, these days I just have a, I have a feel for how much I need to get for a painting of a certain size, which has come just from many years of experience. And of course, my prices 10 years ago didn't start out at what they are now. So as the quality of my work has increased, I've tried to give myself about a 10% increase each year in my prices. Um, and that has worked quite well for me all along. But the main point is to not undersell yourself as that's usually what us artists do. We usually uh, shy away from asking for the right amount of money and end up getting less than we deserve. So be consistent and uh, stand by your prices. If you have figured out what you need to get for a piece, really stand by that. So one bit of advice is to try and have a good range within your prices and one way you can do this is by offering lots of different sizes. So I work in sizes as big as this but then also little portraits this size. So you're always offering people something for their own budget, something that they can afford but you're also giving people the opportunity to own a, a much bigger piece of your work. Another good bit of advice is to research the work of other artists and what they are charging, um, both online from artists from other countries, but also locally to yourself, so that you can get a feel for what your own economy is like where you're working. As at the beginning, quite a lot of your work may come from people who are local to you, perhaps through friends and family. Uh, so you need to know what it's like in your own economy for art. And I would always recommend to visit uh, galleries and exhibitions and see why artists are charging what they're charging but also while you're there see what is selling and what isn't selling so do a lot of research into what other artists in similar fields to yourself are doing and then following on from that be sure to keep your own studio prices and your gallery prices the same so try not to undercut the galleries even though um, you need to bear in mind that you will lose 30 to 50% when you go through a gallery, but they do earn this by promoting you. Um, they have a, a premises to run 
Um, they really do earn their commission. So don't do the foolish thing of undercutting the galleries that you deal with when you deal with clients one to one. So try and keep that across the board. I always recommend to have your prices displayed somewhere online. It just takes that awkwardness out of an initial inquiry where a person really has no idea what your prices might be. So just having a rough guide of prices on your website or on social media somewhere, it lets people know roughly what they're talking before even getting in contact, which I always think is better. And lastly, try not to be too personal when you're adding a price tag to something you've created. If you really like the piece, then maybe you should keep it. Um, art doesn't depreciate, in fact it does quite the opposite. So maybe if your art career goes really well, in 10 years time that painting that you hung on to could be worth so much more. So be selective in what you want to sell, look at it as a long-term career and good luck.